Law of the Bedroom number 36. Part 3 of 3. Improve your diet. Eat and drink better for better sex every time. The food you eat and how you eat it says a lot about your sex life. The food you eat and how you eat it, and I would also add how you cook it, says a lot about your sex life too. I've had people tell me that, oh, Bart, I only eat TV dinners. I only eat frozen foods. I only eat frozen meals. I don't cook. I eat out a lot. And I would kind of witness how they interact with their girlfriend or vice versa. And I would just witness things. And I might even ask one or two questions just to probe. You know, oh, we have sex, you know, once a month or something, something, something. And I'm like, yeah, that's you. huh? All right. And, you know, it doesn't matter per se how much you have sex. It isn't the quantity per se. It's the quality. Because you could go months without having sex. Maybe you're single. You could be celibate. But when you get into a relationship and you flip that switch, turn on those engines, and you're spending eight hours with her in bed or four days making out, doing all the good stuff you can imagine, it's always in you. You just know how to turn it on and off. So like I said, the food you eat and how you eat it and cook it says a lot about your sex life. It's true. What you eat and how you eat it can tell a woman a lot about how good you are in bed. Now, how so? Do you eat fast, inhaling your food like a speeding quickie, or do you take your time and savor every one of her bite-sized morsels? You better. <laughs> Are you a junk food, soda, pop, and donut lover? Or do you care about what you put into your body? Because you know the healthier you are, the leaner you are, the better looking you are. And with the one aim in mind, to go the distance with her, you've got to be in great shape. But you've also got to be in the greatest health as possible as well. That comes with eating and drinking the right stuff and ditching the bad stuff forever. Do you cook? I cook. I love to cook. I'm a great cook. You know how long it takes to prepare a delectable meal for two. Cooking requires patience, some planning, a little thought, and preparation. So she, I mean your meal, turns out mouth-watering for the two of you. All these qualities a woman loves to see in her man, also in bed. You know, when you're creative in the kitchen, you're probably creative in bed. At least you should be. Why not? Ah. Do you love exotic foods? If you enjoy the taste of heavenly, exquisite, well-prepared foods from around the world, and you frequently indulge in such splendors, chances are your sweetheart is going to notice this divine quality about you. Asian foods. Mexican, European, Middle Eastern, Southern, Southwestern. There's so many foods out there, styles and tastes. Educate yourself. Inform yourself. Become aware of them. Bring them into your life and introduce them to her. Good stuff. Hey, who likes boring food? Who likes boring sex? You know, a fondness for the finer things in life go a long way, especially when it comes to food. Rich, flavorsome meals that make the taste buds dance when you bite into her fine design, I mean, I mean the meal, it's exactly the kind of man your darling wants in the bedroom. No question about it. Never boring, always surprising to the tongue, ever delightful, even exotic, hot and exciting, spicy. Overall, just remember to take your time eating and eat slowly. Learn how to cook, practice, preparation, patience, and eat healthier, more exotic foods every chance you get. Become a connoisseur of the finer things in life for you and your darling. In the long run, it all pays off hmm. via the experience and memories you have. I cannot tell you how many times I have cooked for women. You know, my girlfriend at the time or my friends, female friends who would come over. And they're like, Bart, I don't know anyone that cooks better than you. Really, you should like own a restaurant. I'm like, hey, too much work. But seriously, it's such a great skill to have. And all you got to do is just start. And once you cook, it just becomes natural. And I just, I guess I just hate to hear the, the cop outs. Oh, I don't cook. Oh, I don't want to cook. I just order, you know, eating out. And I'm thinking to myself, my gosh, what a lazy son of a gun. You know, you don't even take life into your hands, but Hey, cooking does take time. If you don't have the time, I won't knock you. It's just, I just hate excuses to not improve yourself, 
better yourself. You're leaving your dining destiny in the hands of somebody else. I guess that's what I don't like, you know? Because, and I'll give you an example. I went over to my friend's house just recently. He orders out all the time. He paid 70 bucks and he got this bag of food. And I guess he had two or three guests over. And he was complaining to me. I just walked in the door, complaining to me that there wasn't enough food in the bag for his friends, but he got charged 70 bucks. And that's what I'm talking about. Take life into your own hands. That includes her and cooking. All right, moving on. Ugh, people, Ugh, people, people. Also, know your restaurants. Japanese, Italian, Vietnamese, Mexican, Southwestern, sushi, yogurt shops. Happy hour bars and restaurants, upscale hotel bars and lounges, etc. Also, know where they are in your town and across town. Get out of Dodge now and then. Get to know the menus at these restaurants as well. Keep these menus, you know, or their apps in your phone so you can quickly look up. Hey, where do you want to go tonight, honey? Oh, I don't know. You pick it. Do you feel like Mexican? Oh, I love Mexican. Okay, great. Let me look up. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is one of my favorite Mexican restaurants. They always have great margarita specials. Okay, great. This is where we're going tonight. You just found that on your phone. You might suggest a dish to your gal she might like to try, or the two of you to share. Surprise her, dazzle her with your knowledge of fine wine and cuisine. Order up a little something special next time and share it with her. Remember, one plate, one fork. That'll do. Thank you. Grab takeout menus if you want, you know, from your favorite restaurants. They're kind of nice to keep around. You know, you don't always have to go into your phone and peck, 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 click, click, click. Where is it? Where is it? Just go grab the menu. Take a look at it. Plus, you can sit down on the couch. Let's say you and her. Hey, come here, honey. I'm thinking, let's go to this new Chinese restaurant that just opened up. I have their menu. Come, sit with me. And you open up the brochure. You open up the menu flyer. And it's so much more nice to hold in your hands. It's big, like a, kind of like a little poster. And you're looking at it. And she goes, oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. I like that. You can't do that on the phone. You get my drift? All right, great. Also, get to know the owners of the restaurant, or at least the people who work there. Treat them well. Talk to them. This includes the cooks, if possible. It also goes without saying, like I said, treat them well, tip well, smile, help them smile a lot, inquire about their day. Trust me, their days, and you know this, their days suck. They're on their feet. They're back and forth. Everybody asking, oh, can I have a fork? Can I have a, more water? I need a napkin. Oh, I need this. I want, I need, I want, I need. Oh my God, they're like mothers, you know, tending to little babies. Treat them like gold. Whatever you're going to tip, double it. And then let them know, hey, I put a little extra on there because I really appreciated the job you did. We had a great time. We'll be back. You see, it's all about entertainment and how you interact with others. That's what she's watching and to learn about you. Are you liked by others? Do you get along well with others? Can you entertain her by influencing others in a friendly, kind, and heartfelt way? all with the purpose in mind to provide that little extra special attention and fun that she deserves. <gasps> you bet. I know you can. You just happen to be that kind of guy. In fact, I can imagine right now a lot of men go out to dinner with their gal. They walk in. They get seated. They look at the menu. They order. There's a little conversation. Rarely do they ever talk to the waiter or waitress. If they have time, yeah, they may all be busy. But if they got the time and the place isn't that full, just a little conversation. I know you're with your gal and she wants to talk to you, but showcase your social skills with the world. Yeah. So, um, has it been pretty busy today? No? Oh, because it's kind of like kind of empty in here. We're the only ones. We appreciate all the attention. All right, great. And you're going to have, you want to, you want more? Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have one more. Appreciate that. Thank you. All right. Great. All right. Thank you. It's great. You know, you're practicing your socials. And then when you get the bill, you get the bill, you look it over. Hey, psh, great. Psh, psh, sign away. And you give it to them. And before you give it to them, you just look at them and you go, hey, I really appreciate what you did. And we really enjoyed ourselves tonight. And the food was delicious. Please tell the chef, the cooks back there, it was great. We loved it. Please tell them. And there's a little something on there extra. I hope they get their share. You know, I don't know how you guys work out your tips, but I put a little extra so maybe they would see a little extra too. We really appreciate the time. All right, great. All right, we'll be back next time. You're going to get like special treatment next time. It's happened to me. You know, they would come down. They'd say, hey, Bart, um, this is from the chef. He made this little extra special creation. He made it for you because he knows you're here. And he really appreciated your comments from the last time. Oh, watch your gal just go, whoa, does this happen everywhere you go? 
cool stuff. Check it out. I know you're that kind of guy to make that kind of stuff happen too. Rock and roll.